and everything will be all right. And you wake up from this dark night of the soul. When the E-Type Jaguar made its first public outing in Geneva in 1961, car aficionados the world over fell in love. With its long, elegant bonnet, voluptuous curves, and daring exhaust pipe, it was something altogether new. The E-Type redefined the term sports car. Competitive models looked utterly pedestrian next to this sleek, state-of-the-art roadster. And those who dreamed of cruising the streets in style could pick up the new Jag for a relatively modest 26,000 marks. Helga Neuhäuser runs a Jaguar club and she says the 1961 model is not unlike a go-kart to drive except that it takes a bit more strength to press the gas pedal and shift the gears. This model still runs with the original Moss box which requires some getting used to on the part of the driver but once they've got the hang of it it's fun to drive. It takes the six-cylinder, 265-horsepower engine seven seconds to catapult the 1,300-kilo car to a 100 kilometers an hour. Theoretically, it could get up to 240, but at speeds upwards of 200 kilometers per hour, the E-Type becomes dangerously light, and even a slight bump in the road could send it flying. Production of the first series of the E-Type continued until 1968, and the model is still very popular among car lovers. As collectors, prices show. Helga Neuhäuser explains that the cheapest E-Types on the market are the 2 plus 2 coupés from the second series. At the other end of the spectrum is the 3.8 liter model from the first series. Malcolm Sayer was the brains behind the lasting success of the first series and Sir William Lyons polished his design. Although it is a curvaceous car, it is also quite masculine. The basic construction of the bodywork, which was inspired by motor racing, comprises a steel unibody screwed onto a ladder frame, fully independent suspension, and four disc brakes. Back then, it was high-tech stuff. The body of the car is more than 4 meters 45 long, but it's just 1 meter 19 high. The innovative trunk door opens sideways to allow more storage space. The beautiful wooden steering wheel feels nice to the touch. And the instruments are easy to read. The only thing which is hard to get to grips with are all the switches scattered about the dashboard. There were originally some gripes about the lack of comfort, but the tight bucket was designed to position the driver correctly. As Helga Neuhäuser says, models with a 3.8 liter engine were sturdy little cars, more so than the later 4.2 liter model, which proved to be less technically reliable. The six-cylinder engine, which was the successor to the XK150S, was in development for a long time and honed by many circuits around the racetrack. Three carburetors gave it a lot of oomph and the grace with which the entire hood opens added to its unique appeal. In the years it was in production, a total of 7,827 first series E-types with a 3.8 liter engine rolled onto the roads. Prices for E-type Jaguars are constantly rising, which is little wonder given that after 40 years, the slick design has lost nothing of its magnetic charm.
Cuyahoga Neuhäuser is not planning to part with hers anytime soon. Rather like Jerry Cotton, the FBI agent who became so attached to his E-Type Jag that he became as good as synonymous with it. 